I'm using my uh, my phone because I can't find my camera right now. Painting the whole entire apartment and everything's a huge mess and finding stuff is impossible right now. Um, but I wanted to point out, you know, the benefits of using Android uh, as a MAME cabinet. Right now, of course, this is not like a real MAME cabinet. It's just my... It's this. This is like the lazy man's MAME cabinet. If you don't know how to do any electronic work or, you know, like, you know, wiring and everything and you're too lazy to, like, put together a real main cabinet, you just take something like this, slap it with a display and prop it up on something, and then it, it's good enough for me. <laughs> but uh, I do know this board works, by the way, with my Android device. So this is Hyperspin. For Android right now, it's, I think, believe, specific to Shield devices, which, speaking of Shield devices, I purchased the Android... Uh, the thing that I said was uh, stupid and whatever, although I did mention I wanted it for emulation, so that's what I got it for. Um, so the and the Shield TV, um, but I wanted to point out some of the benefits of using Android. This is the Shield tablet right here. It's running from there in console mode. Uh, I don't have this hooked up because I can't find the USB cable for it. Again, you know, my house is a mess right now. Um, but I did hook up to this just for inputs. Um, but that's just there to, to give you an idea on uh, what that would look like and blah, blah, blah. And I do know that it works because I've used it before. Um, but here we have Hyperspin. Okay, so this is running natively. We got all these emulators. You know, you can launch your games and all that and play them with uh, your arcade and stuff and whatever whatever uh, but on top of that one cool thing and for now while grid is free uh, by the way the talus principle came out uh, on the shield tablet I didn't think that was gonna happen uh, okay I like that game that game's good it's got a little bit of a frame rate. Well, the frame rate's not easy to handle on my own PC, but... So the other idea is, uh, you see these games here? Okay, if I can just get them to load up. Until I at least the thumbnails. So I can find the game that I'm looking for. Okay, so for those of you who don't have game stream PCs, what about this? And turn the volume up. I really ha am using the... Jesus Christ, turn up! Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm fighting. I'm holding this with one hand and it's, I have to fight with it. But we can load up Ultra Street Fighter fighting games, whatever, from Grid. So, a lot of people like to use... Yeah, it always says that. Just go with it. <laughs> I wish it would just tell you, you know, if you. I wish you could opt to forget that. It's just, just go with it. <laughs> Whatever. So it's gonna launch Super Street Fighter, and say we have this connected to that. We now have this little Android device with minimal wiring as the brains for. Let's call it a main cabinet. <laughs> Um, this is an extra display I have, and I really actually do plan on setting it up like this, and maybe I'll put some wood somewhere to make it look more like a cabinet. Um, yeah, I'm quite sure I can get a hold of some wood and probably some decals or something and do a, like a lazy kind of cabinet just to have fun with. But even this is, is cool for me, I don't care. <laughs> I wish it had two boards though. Get one with two boards. And so we see, I'm gonna grab my controller here and just hit that. You know? Understand how that could be cool. So we have like a triple A title but a fighting game, which is great with a uh, with an arcade board like that. 
And uh, we can pick the usual Ryu. Uh, let me see if I can get this to focus the colors a little better. The, the screen is a little hazy, but with a recent update to the tablet, you can actually change the way the HDMI out looks. So you can, there's the tone mapping feature. It doesn't look like what you're seeing on the screen, but it is a little hazy. Uh, let me select. I'm not going to be able to play this properly. I'll just let myself get my ass kicked, I guess. <laughs> Something. I just want to show it playing. Um, as you see, I think I set this to 1080p 60 frames per second, too. So, I don't know how the graphics settings are set by NVIDIA, but they normally are fairly high. I would imagine they could max it out for this game, but I don't know. Oh, shut up. So, we have this, of course. And then I'm just going to get my ass kicked, I guess. I, I have access to a analog stick, and I think I may be able to punch or kick or something. So, yeah, I can kick. Let's see if I can kick his ass with one hand. Just, you know. A oh, little lag there, but you have a better internet connection, which I'm moving soon, so... Uh, just try to keep that in focus. Holy shit, I'm kicking his ass in one hand. I suck, but, you know, I guess that was easy. So, you know, that was really what I wanted to show you there. But, uh, like I pointed, you know a lot of people like to use PC as the brain for their their emulation devices. Uh, I don't even want to do this. Uh, it was wonderful. It was great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, anyways... Let's say you have a game stream PC, so you can, instead of, um, my arm is actually hurting, hold on one second, instead of actually, um, what is it, instead of using a PC, like an extra PC, and dedicating a PC to a main cabinet, you have things like game streaming, where you can stream games, of course, to your your uh, cabinet, so you find the fitting game that you want. Uh, not sure in my case that. Oh, okay. Got a few games here. Uh, let's see what we want to do here. Um, you can you know stream emulators and games. So if there's any emulators that don't exist on Android, you can stream them. Of course, if you have a game stream PC or something. Um. So, hmm, trying to figure out what what do I want to launch? Let's go with Strider. That'd be kind of cool. So, you know, I also have other stuff. Do I have my yeah my PCs on? Okay, just making sure. Oh, fortunately, Shield have messed up. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? Something. God damn it. Yeah, Strider, let's hit resume and see if we can get this to work. Well, that kind of sucks. For some reason, it keeps crashing, and now it's going back here. Uh, let me try to end that, and I don't know why it's doing that, but... Huh. Um, we'll just end that stuff, but... Oh, come on, it's not easy with a controller in one hand. Now it's fucking acting up. Um, let me quit it out. Of course. Okay, so we have an issue. But, you know, if you actually have it working, for the love of freaking God, if it ever works, or you can use Limelight Game Stream, and you can stream your games that way, and, uh, I guess I have some troubleshooting to do. Uh, but then, of course, there's also games on Android that may be suited, well suited for, um, a, uh, a, you know, arcade board. See if I even have anything like that. Um, let's see. Hmm, maybe trying to would, would be kind of cool. Um... 
You can launch your emulators, whatever. Why am I pointing it like that? <laughs> uh, yeah, so we got emulators, all that crap. But, uh, you know, if you get game stream actually working, you can actually stream all your PC games um, to the TV uh, or to, to a main cabinet and not have to dedicate a, an extra PC with all the wires and everything to, um, to, to a main cabinet. So you'd have a simple, like, so, okay, so now let's say, all right, I'm done. I'm done with uh, my, my uh, gaming session. I can then just unplug this, right? So you can even have like a dock maybe that will dock, you can dock it in with power and everything like that. So once you do that, you go, and now I can go back into mirror mode or whatever it is. Let's just hit exit console mode. Sorry, that's not really um, focused. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Uh, it's a Samsung Galaxy S4 camera. <laughs> Autofocus. There you go. So and then it could just go back into the... Uh, mode that you had the original mode and then you could just take it with you get a little productive and watch movies and blah 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 hook it up to your TV and do whatever you want so you could basically take the brains of your main cabinet with you and do other things with it use it for music and whatever else so you know that's a uh, that's cool also it's low power it's a low power thing and if you have charged it and you don't plan on playing for very long, you don't even need to plug it in. You can just, like right now, I, I never plugged it into power. It's all charged, well, it's not all charged up, but I charge it enough to, to do some gaming, and then basically you unhook it, take it with you. And that's, that's really cool. Um, and the emulators work fairly well, and like I said, if you can actually get GameStream to work, of course it decided for this video that it would fail on me, so, but when you get it working, uh, it it is good. I probably just need to clear uh, the Shield Hub's cache or some shit. Whatever, I'll work on it. It's a little troubleshooting to do. Something to do. Oh, yay. Um, so anyways, that was just a video showing you the benefits of using an Android device over a PC or a main cabinet. Thank you for watching.